Well, NASA is over the moon after history was made in outer space. A private American built lunar lander has now touched down on the moon, marking the first commercial landing in U.S. history and the first American touchdown in more than 50 years. Joining us now, our favorite astrophysicist, Dr. Hakeem Ulashei. So great to see you. Hakeem, I, I, this is where we always geek out, right? And uh, this landing right. was actually described as a nail biter. Were you biting your nails too? I mean, tell us how difficult this was to pull off. Yeah, it's very difficult. Thanks for having me, Kira. Um, this one hits a little close to home because I was a professor on the Space Coast. So it's not just a private corporation and NASA, it's also Embry-Riddle University and uh, Florida Institute of Technology. And listen, when a spacecraft loses communication, it can go multiple ways, right? And if you think about the um, last year when the uh, we sent a bunch of CubeSats to the moon on the Artemis mission, half of them didn't work. Right. And so now the first sign that you get that it's not working is that you lose communication. So when communication was lost. Sure, it is nail biting time. You have no idea where this is going to go, but they quickly let us know they're on the surface of the moon. They're taking data and look at them. They're happy. <laughs> yeah, they were. Well, no doubt. I mean, just look at the room there. It, the landing was significant um, because this yeah. was the first time for the U.S. in more than 50 years. But but why now? Absolutely. Well, because what we see is an effort that's been going on for a few years now. We're creating a new infrastructure for space access, and it goes just beyond state-level players, right? It's no longer just a few nations that have the power of the state behind them. There are now private companies and nations that weren't doing it before are now starting to, to participate. So now's the time to push your technology. You know, why, if, if you have an opportunity today, why put it off for tomorrow? Um, and, you know, in a way, we are in a space race right now, right? There are a lot of other, not a lot, but, you know, China has gone to the moon. India has gone to the moon. Russia is probably going to the moon. And now with these reusable rockets like SpaceX has invented, now we have private companies creating landers and, and, and payloads. That really drives the cost down, and it makes access to space even that much more readily. And there are actual stuff worth getting out there, right? The moon is just a stepping stone to the asteroid belt and the outer solar system. Um, and, you know, we depend on all these rare metals for our modern electronic world. So, you know, we're getting out there and getting to it. So from NASA to all the private entities, as you've mentioned, what are you looking forward to? What do you want to see? What's What will get you really excited? You know, the Artemis mission coming to fru full fruition, landing actual astronauts, American astronauts on the moon, having an actual orbiting um, moon station, space station, like we have here for Earth, um, and using the moon as that stepping off point. I think all of those are really exciting. I'm, and I'm just limiting it to the moon, you know, and, and I'm just limiting it to, you know, our biggest aspirations. But there's a lot of smaller things. There's great research that can be done at the moon. Identifying the water in the, in the craters at the poles and how that may be used is also really important. But it's going to be a stepwise uh, process one step at a time and you know I think about the fact that three and a half million years ago right we were inventing stone axes you know hand axes and now 5,000 years ago we first smelt iron and now we're freaking going to the moon and have smartphones you know I am just blown out of my mind by what humans <laughs> have accomplished Amen to that. It's always so great to have you, Hakeem. You get us all excited about these accomplishments. Great to see you. Have a great weekend. You as well. Take care. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.